Hi everyone, welcome to Lazy Dancer Tips, I'm Alessia. A few weeks ago we spoke about how to get your fitness life getting started and ready in the morning. But I know that a lot of you don't have that mornings free. So today I really want to talk about how to make the most out of your fitness ballet in the evenings. I know, I know, you're not like me probably and you've got that energy that goes right in the evening. My husband Jacopo is like that. He really struggles in the morning, but as soon as he gets home from work, he gets right into it, right into his fitness and right into energy going up. And those of you who start fitness in the evening, it's actually quite cool. Did you know that you've got most of the energy between two and five? And also there are some very interesting tips I'm gonna give you to keep that energy flowing and going. Number one, stay properly fueled and hydrated throughout the day. Your body is already warm and you get up in the morning, you've got to commute properly to work. Everything that you need to do throughout the day, you actually do it. You're moving, you're, uh, you're energetic. But sometimes we do forget to eat properly. So having some lean proteins or leafy greens or nuts as well, they're very good to keep that energy high. You also need to remember to hydrate yourself. Remember that women usually need about 2.5 liters a day. Men, slightly more, because usually they're bigger and tougher. They need around three liters of water. But remember, water, good food, and lots of smiles. Number two, schedule your routine. I know that at the end of the day it can be kind of tough to keep going with that plan in mind. But if you've got it in your diary, you're definitely gonna stick to it. So you're there, it's written down, and you're not gonna slack off when you get home. Remember, keep that schedule as a me time. That time of fitness ballet that you're gonna be doing, it's your priority, it's your loving time. So don't take it away from the day. Number three, recharge during the commute. I know a lot of us do have to go around, they go to work and they come back. So you've got that downtime during the commute, whether you're on a train, on the tube, on the metro. Take that time as no thinking, no worries. It's your recharge time. Think about listening to some music. Don't play too many games, or if you do, go for it. But as long as you relax during that time. So as soon as you're gonna get home, you're gonna be ready and focused. So take a few deep breaths in and out. And again, there is gonna be another me time before the fire. Number four, get straight into it. As soon as you get home, get right into it. Don't slack, don't procrastinate. You've got it in your schedule, it's right there, you got to do it. And if you're having troubles getting started knowing what to do, remember that you can always download my Get Ballerina Fit and have all the ideas and the workout plans that you need to get that workout starting. Number five, always have a goal. Whether you're doing fitness in the morning, fitness in the evening, it's always there. Have your goal. And I know that sometimes looking at that goal, it can be so off-putting sometimes because it looks like it's so far away and it's unachievable. But if you look at the little milestones, be proud of those little milestones. Be happy of all the little achievements that you make throughout your journey. Remember, the journey is as important as achieving that goal. And it's actually more rewarding. So remember that Roma wasn't built in a day. Be nice and kind to yourself. Be aware that nothing is gonna happen with a click of a finger. I still haven't got that magic powers to make you do it, make you achieve it. We're in this together and I know we're gonna work hard in this, but remember, 
looking at the little milestones, it's much better than looking at something that is so, so far away from us. So I hope this was helpful. I can't wait to hear all about your things that you do throughout the day to keep you motivated. Write them in the link below. I always read all the comments. Don't worry, I'm always there. So I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to hear what you do. It's beautiful because you feed all the ideas and how I can help you achieve that goal. So write it down, let me know, and I can't wait to read them all. Mwah.